Hi guys, um, hope everyone, everyone's doing well. Uh, so today's video will be kind of more like a um, sharing sort of video. I uh, want to show you guys uh, one of these uh, things that someone actually uh, racked me and I'm really touched and, and quite floored actually. Um, you know like um, like today I was actually kind of sick. Um, I actually um, had a f ran a fever yesterday but I kind of wanted to go to work because you know, me being a partial book holiday and all that. Um, so I went to work and then, um, <laughs> um, but I kind of got too sick, so I, I, I came back home. So, you know, like, me, you know, groveling and, like, um, um, like, pain on the way to your, to my, to my limbs, my bones, and so it was, like, nothing the best of days. Then, um, the postman came along to the house and then, like, um, delivered this package and I was like, did I order something? <laughs> and I thought I had maybe had, a, like, a case of, like, um, amnesiac shopper, but it turns out that, um, someone had, uh, wrecked me something. So, um, she, was, uh, she got all these products from, uh, Frantic Stamper, I think. So if you could, like, Google and find Frantic Stamper, it's, like, a place where they, like, sell, like, a lot of, like, uh, scrapbooking products. Um, so, okay, the backstory of this was that, uh, about two videos ago, you see me did a video on the Curtain Call, um, a mini album. And, um, so, um... Uh, the person, which is uh, Linda from uh, Papercrafter45, I think. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Papercrafter45. Um, contacted me and said that she's interested in buying the Mini. So I was like, um, great. So um, uh, I did all that and sent the Mini over. What I didn't expect was that um, um, this uh, was what came back. <laughs> in a certain sense, because she did pay for that... Uh, mini album already, so I was thinking like, um, like like this stuff that she is um, like sending over as a rag is like just she really go goes out her way to uh, thank people, and I'm really really grateful for like all this stuff. So um, and this sort of stuff I'm probably gonna like rag you back. So watch out. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so most of the stuff are from the Bo Bunnies, um, relatively uh, new collection from uh, somewhere in time so i actually did kind of like buy a couple of things from there which is like the six by six paper as well as the uh die cuts but um i actually really loved the, loved the entire collection i was just like partially reluctant to 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 buy those because um scrapbooking stuff is just really expensive uh, in, in singapore um so uh, no, i controlled myself and that's all i got from the collection and then uh, she sent me from frantic uh, stamper the almost entire collection and and i'm, I'm like beyond uh, flawed. So okay, I'm just gonna go through what are some of the things, and this kind of can kind of also be like a product video. Um, I'll be also opening pack of like um the six by six papers as well as some of like the the ephemera pack. Ephemera pack is like this new thing that they have. Um, I can kind of recognize some of these things as like uh, things from older collections or 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 and, and stuff, but they made it into like this massive ephemera pack in which the color scheme and the uh, and the entire um theme just really goes well with 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 the uh, with the set and. It's really great if you're like doing like a major project, like 12 by 12 layouts and stuff. So this is the Craftwood Clocks. Really cool. I really, really like the laser cut, so this is great. Um, okay, the next, uh, these breads. Now these breads are really cool. Um, they're metallic. Okay, I'm just going to take it off if I can use them and have too much weight, too much glare. Um, I want to tell like two things I love about this. Um, at first, sorry, I was like, um, I kind of want to buy it, but I was like, ah, okay, but yeah, uh, you know, on the budget and whatnot. So um, I really like this, like almost like this uh, epoxy sort of um, um, bread. And what I really liked about it is the it's this metallic ones, um, which I think they've done it before, like in one of their like uh, animal like collection. I think it's Animal Kingdom, Animalia or something, um, which I thought was like kind of kind of cool. And this is really steampunky because of this, its uh, metallic look. Um, I'm just gonna get it to focus on uh, there. Right, and and one of the things I really like about it is actually the backing sheet itself. I can imagine that I will not throw it away, and I'll probably figure out something with it because like the stitch lines and these things. This is so, this entire packaging is so well designed. Okay, so um, next up would be okay the bow bunny stamps. Um, I have to show this one. I really love this one. Um, yeah, but there may be too much glare, but you know, bear with it. Um, so, um, we have all this really cool stuff like the image of a a lamp um, with like a place for like, you know, we could, you know, like put something inside or color or whatnot. Um, this is really, really cool. I really like the, this floor, uh, the, this 
flourish thingamajig um, some of the gates and stuff and this is really really cool um, I'm totally gonna use it and Bow Bunny is one of those brands which I actually like their clear stamps um, because sometimes the different brands like their clear stamps can get a bit too um, soft and then the the shape kind of warp, warps it when when you're like stamping um, Bow Bunny stamps happen to have um, I have no idea but they really did really well the the uh, the silicon I suppose stamp or uh, photopolymer um, it does really good um, it doesn't pick up ink as well so usually I will use um, um, the archival jet black ink or stays on uh, to send the images okay then the 6x6 paper pad Woo! it's like my favorite thing ever <laughs> um, let me figure out how to, how to open this oh oh great interesting um, open from the side so it's kind of sealed up. I'm just gonna use a pen knife to cut this open. It's eating into the cover page, but whatever. <laughs> Oopsie. Okay, but at least the the papers are fine. So I'm gonna do a good flip through of the paper. The paper are gorgeous. Um. I really like the whole um, teal, like, and blue, and dark blue especially, and the browns. Um, the something is more like a yellow, like a dark saffron or something. Um, really, really cool stuff. This um, reminds me a lot of a darker version of Steampunk Debutante uh, collection, um, especially like this page, and as well as the gear page. So this is a really fun collection. Okay, I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna do a mini album with this or or, or like some cards and stuff. <coughs> um here are the die cuts. They all they call the die cuts noteworthy. Um, um I actually got this already but um it doesn't matter second pack, like I kinda of want like a second of each image. <laughs> This is really brilliant. You can just like put it onto the to like a layout or a card, and you're done. <laughs> really good. Um, and they have these things which are like, kind of like gears, um, which are fun because I can imagine putting like a bread through the center. So most of the centers, um, not all of them, but most of the centers actually has a hole. So you can just simply put a bread through, and then can make this into like an interactive like turning thing magic. Um, I won't go through every one of them. Just gonna give you like a brief show of like what's in this pack. Um, so yeah, I thought, I thought this is really fun, and if let's say they don't have it, you can just always poke a hole, and if this is a little bit too big, you can just like mat it or something. Um, they have that like, same interactive effect. Um, the tags from this ones are really great, um, they really go well with the collection. Um, because sometimes there are die cut sets which are kind of like weird, like, why would they even add this, uh, <laughs> into the collection? Because sometimes you feel it doesn't really add that much to it. Or you have to like creative like work around some of the weird colors that they introduce into it. But this is really good. Like the entire theme of the the coordinating products are like um, well thought. And then oh, I really love this. I love this. Ooh. so cute. Um, and stuff. Then there's these like massive giant tags. Like um, I probably have no idea what I'm gonna do with them, but I'm gonna use them like probably like photo frames or like uh, something of that sort. Um, and like they kind of have this thing where you know it come like more pieces come out from the same thing, so kind of like that. And they have this like big tag. So I'm gonna like figure out what to do with those. But um, I I, I like how it's really coordinating, so I don't have to do too much. But at the same time, um, the the sizes are challenging. <coughs> so I'm just gonna put this aside. Okay, the next one will be a big one. <laughs> Um, this is the Bow Bunny Ephemera collection. So as I, I've mentioned, there are some things that mix in for like older collections, I think, or things that are themed to like older stuff. But um, they totally work with the color scheme, and um, that is really really cool. And I want to show you guys like um, if you just buy the Ephemera collection on its own, I suspect you can make a really cool mini already. Um, so they have like um, flowers, buttons. Um, go that goes well with the collection. Look at the colors like teal ish. Um, it's kind of got stuck, so I'm gonna put it right back where it's supposed to go. <laughs> um, just like this things, really cool stuff. 
buttons. A more that metallic red, but I think in a smaller set. So I, I guess they um, like shed it out among the different sets. <coughs> Ribbons in coordinating colors. Um, a really cool coordinating um, bread. More buttons. Okay. I'll show you the real deal. So um, they kind of clip the entire thing together with a, like a paper clip to, I guess, stop it from like flying around in the. In the in a, in a package and uh, drawback um maybe Bob and I can think about it packaging next time um the the post kind of all fell out <laughs> um but that's fine I suppose yeah kind of like move them back to where they're supposed to be yeah so um it looks like that and I think there's one missing somewhere um but that's fine um yeah and look at all of this stuff it's so cool um. Yeah, you can you can you can do like a mixed media album, a smash book. Um what well, is really cool stuff. Woo. Um then I think this is from probably the etc collection. It looks like it's from there. Um but it goes well with the with the colour theme anyway. Um So they're like um stuff from there, like the previous collections which kinda work. Um this is probably from like the World Travelers I think. And then they cut it down, and, and this is really fun. Like if you if you work through this mini like on its own, um, see they have all these cool stuff from the previous collection. This like um, bow punnies, um, it's once upon a time. I could be wrong, but I think so. Boat travelers, um, this one from the um, from the basic line when they have this like ledger papers and stuff. It's really cool because all this really works with the the color scheme. Really works with the thing. Um, chipboard. Um, papers from old collections. Fun sizes, really cool to work with. And they even have like a um, old book page. It's just really cool. <laughs> and okay, I'm just gonna show you like how the colors actually coordinate. This is from like older collections, right? This is from the newer one. The colors coordinate really well. It's like they're almost like the same. You know, so this is really really cool. Um, yeah, I couldn't like put that aside. Um, this is um, I think she got this like kind of like make mini albums for me to make mini albums with. I really love this. I don't actually have a zatter. I have a I, I guess so I'm I'm quite sure I can like um, uh, um, figure out like how to like um, adapt it to like the cinch. Um, it's, it's really just a matter of um, um, getting the size sizes right. Um, so I'll probably experiment with that a little bit. Um, oopsie! Yeah, so I got way too much glue on this thing. <laughs> it's okay, I'm gonna like stick something over this anyway. No, no biggie. So, this is great, like... Like, you, you just slot something that you already bound inside this thing, um, that already has a ring. And then uh, this becomes a mini album. This is really cool size, really nice. I'm gonna think about like how I'm gonna like do this together with, with my um, with the ephemera pack. So I thought that would be kind of fun. Um, I'm gonna explore stuff a little. Okay, and she got me ooh, the collection pack from Bow Bunny. Um, this is amazing because this is one of the things that I saw and I didn't get because it was just way too expensive. Um, and oh, would you look at that? It's here. Um, let me put that back. Where? Here you go. <laughs> and this is really cool. Um, okay, I'm not gonna show you all the images because they're not gonna fit into the camera, no matter how like how much I shift it. Um, but I will show some of uh, them. So um, one of the things I'm increasingly realizing is that um, even for 6x6 six six papers, they are not necessarily just shrunk down version of the 12 by 12 They are like images in which uh, inside the um, um, uh, the 12 by 12 that they don't actually replicate into the 6x6. Six six, largely because um, um, it may not work. The design may not work when it's in 6x6. Six six. Um, so look at that. This will actually work at 6x6, but I didn't see it, but never mind. Oh, this is gorgeous, people. Gorgeous! Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm just like singing to myself right now. Um, this is amazing stuff. Okay, oh. When I actually saw this, I kind of wanted to like, buy like a sheet of it. Like, um, like um, we sell it by sheets, like single sheets. But, uh, I didn't in the end. Oh, this is so cool! 
Um, yeah. <laughs> And the content my excitement. Um, look at all of these. Okay, so I'm not gonna go through like all the patterns. So the ones that I really like, um, wood grain one is fantastic. I really love this random lock that clearly doesn't belong there, but just looks really cool. Whatever. <laughs> uh, this blue paper. Uh, I I've always loved the die the like the cutout sheets. These are really great for like doing like your four by six. Um, or you can make them into like tags for mini albums. And this one, this is so cool. This is just so cool. Okay, anyway. Um, yep, I'm just gonna flip over and show you the sticker sheet. I think the sticker sheet is actually really stunning. Um, the letters are great. Um, I actually, which reminds me, I actually got like, um, from, um, like second hand from somebody else, a um, die cut by Tim Holtz, which have similar cutting phones. Here's this one. Uh, Tim Holtz, uh, one of the XL dies so have like extended platform. Um, yeah, and this is kind of cool because it kind of make your own stickers um, because this can actually cut through chipboard and greyboard for example and this would be really good. Um, but anyway, um, this is so cool. Um, I have to show the, the, the sticker sheets and like, I'm not even sure whether I could use them because it looks really cool and pretty on their own. So, um, I really like this. Um, I like the juxtaposition of like something that's very mechanical over something that's like a uh, very uh, nature-like and that's kind of like cool. Um, yeah, the sticker sheet is just really nice. I'm not sure whether I ever use them. <laughs> okay, but but I probably will. Um, yeah. So thank you, Linda from Papercraft Forty Five. This is amazing stuff. Um, I'm floored by all of these stuff. This is crazy. Um, yeah, so, well, that's a 17 minute long rant. <laughs> um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.